Stewart here, back with another fantastic guest tipper, Kevin Riom. Now, I've known Kevin Riom for years and years. Back when I was in Chicago studying improv, this was like just after the world cooled and man had just started to walk upright. Uh, I was studying uh, and Kevin was on the very first team that I ever coached called Inside Vladimir at IO Chicago when that was still a thing. And, um, and it was great. It was super fun, super fun team. And Kevin was really a, a standout on that team. He always had such a great adventurous spirit to try stuff. But also what I liked about him uh, in his work, as I recall, was that he was uh, he could just totally go there and go wild with you. But he was also really good at sort of organizing, sort of reining stuff back in. Um, he has gone on to become a teacher at Second City and he created a bunch of shows and all of his stuff. Ding, ding's down below in the um in 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 the description. Now his tip today, I really love. Uh, it's about sort of knowing what you're doing in the scene, and that for me is really uh, important. There's so many uh, benefits to that, and not sort of like dicing around with it. And I think his tip is really great. It also goes along with a bunch of other tips. It goes along with this one. Ding ding. No have do, which is sort of on a very similar theme. So if you like this one, you probably like that one. Also this one. Ding ding from Craig Kikowski, which is about choose to know what's going on. And then as a counterpoint, there's this one, ding, ding, from Lauren Morris, which is about being okay being lost in a scene. So a few different opinions, a few different takes on this thing to deepen your um, understanding and knowledge uh, in, this, in this arena. So um, I think that's all I need to say. All of Kevin's stuff is in the description down below. But right now, please sit back, relax, and enjoy Kevin Rio. Hey, I have a tip for you. Your job as an improviser is to act like you know what's going on, even and especially when you do not. At the start of a scene, you don't know what's going on. You have to act like you do. That is what improv is. It took me a long time to realize that. Uh, it's one of those things that maybe I'd always known, but I finally put my finger on, oh, that is what improv is. I have to act like I know what's going on, even when I don't. I have to be patient and let the information of the scene come to me and my scene partner. And when that information comes, I have to act like, oh, of course, I've always known that. I've always known our relationship. I've always known about this place. I'm, I work at a gym and you are my minister, right? I just act like that's always been the case. That's the illusion that we're putting on in improv and that we are allowing an audience to watch even when we're making stuff up right on, on, on the spot. It's like, we, we do this all the time. It's like if somebody makes a Shakespeare reference and you go like, oh, yes, yes, of course, I know what you're talking about. Very witty, oh, very good. When you do not at all, we're good at portraying that. What we don't want to do is get in a scene where we don't know what's going on and panic and start filling in blanks with janky information that gets, uh, hard to problem solve our way out. We shouldn't be working that hard. Your character knows what's going on. Put your faith in yourself, your scene partner, and your character, and don't worry about where it's going. Be patient, let it come, and um, uh, we have to just act like we've always done it. That's what we do. Up and out. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video, and uh, if you want to hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below, and let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.